Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And we got everything for you to dress outside of the box. You know, times is hard, but you want to keep your originality and you want to highlight that about yourself. Check us out. Okay, so this is a very special episode I wanted to bring to you guys. And this is just one of the hip hop segments I wanted to add to your mindset. And these are artists that took their craft seriously and things that they said and the words that they presented open people's minds up to things that could just be used today to just clear up this madness and all this chaos. And today we're talking about public enemy fight the power. Playback. A public enemy, for those who don't know and never heard of public enemy, one of the greatest groups of all time. Now in the group, you have four people, Chuck D, Flavor Flav, Terminator X, and Professor Griff. And that makes Public Enemy. Now, the group, when I first seen the group, automatically the greatness that stands out with the group is they stood for something. The things they they marched, the things that they said in their words, it went, it went so far, the, the distance that they had on people, just knowing that their words meant so much to those communities and the, the environments that were going through the same things as them. And it connected with so many people and it started in New York and it went around the world. So what I wanna do for you guys today is just break down my take on it and give you guys just a little bit of the source that made hip hop what it is today and how we got to this point. And we might be just off a little bit from what the trajectory of what hip hop is all about. So I just want to get people's minds back into the thoughts of why it was created and what hip hop stood for. Now in the opening, you see Flavor Flav going off on the, on the stage. You see Brooklyn signs, signs going off everywhere. Mostly of it all is directed by Spike Lee. For those who don't know, if you've been sleeping under a rock or never even heard of Spike Lee, he's one of the best to do it. So him carrying his source into the public enemy's speech and what they was standing for, it just made it that much better. So you see Flav Flav going off. And then I want you guys to real, even the youth looking, I want you guys to pay attention to what they were wearing, the youth out there, what they were standing for. All those signs, they didn't just say Brooklyn. It said Philadelphia. It, it brought everybody together. And that's what it was all about. Fight the power. Fight the power. The youth had their chains on. They stood for the, and it's not, if you really notice, there wasn't really a lot of diamonds and things shining all over the place. It was a lot of people with things that they valued and the things that they bought and we stood together. So you'll see a lot of like, um, a lot of the stop clocks with Flavor Flav. He was just killing them with that. That was so stylish, just having different stop clocks. So that brought everybody together. The fact that you can just go pick up a stopwatch, a stop clock, and you can throw it on and you feel like you was part of hip hop. It meant everything for the people in communities that probably couldn't afford those big expensive things, but they came together with these little trinkets that made us say, oh yeah, you one of us. And that's what hip hop is all about. And then more into the, you get into the video, if you really see what D was really, what he was saying and what he was standing for. Brothers and sisters. You should keep your heart, put a nut and get a Brothers and sisters. That was, that was us he was screaming for. When he screamed out the brothers and sisters, that meant everything. It meant that we are one. We are all united. And what you're going through, we can see your pain. And your pain, it, it, it equals out to the pain that other people of your same kind are going through in different areas. That's why everybody could come together. Now, when you see the people marching behind public enemy. Nine, another, another sucker. 
sound of the funky drummer. And you see the crews walking. If you really look at it, everybody was in sync. Everybody was together and everybody is wearing those same colors, showing that we had un unity, we had structure. And that's what he was preaching. He was preaching to people that we need to come together and highlighting the things that we did. That's why when you hear him bringing up Elvis. <laughs> Elvis was a hero the most I ever met to me. You know, the reason why he was speaking on Elvis is because in the past it has been said that Elvis stole from a lot of um, black entertainers and a lot of from the black culture and he moved on and he put it into his style and being that he had a big audience he took those same things that people created from the heart from our culture and then he made it popular for himself so when he said Elvis you know when he screamed out Elvis was a hero to most but he never mentioned to me Elvis was a hero to most I never mentioned to me yet you that's just showing us that the connection that he Elvis, his connection that he had with those people, it didn't connect with hip hop. It didn't connect with us. What connected with us was the originators, the people that actually made the things that he went and took and tried to create it and say it was his. That's a fact. Facts, facts. So these little jewels, it sat in our brains as far as hip hop listeners and people that was inspiring to be artists. And it made us think that we have to move with some kind of integrity and make sure that the lyrics that we put down, make sure that they were meaningful. Whether you was coming from a struggle situation or you was coming Coming from a situation that's a little more better you still knew that you had to stand for something when you entered hip-hop and that's what made the culture so strong and everybody coming together if you also notice in the video yes everybody had kind of like the same stylish kinds of cuts like as far as high tops but they also had their different originalities every boroughs had different ways they dressed and everybody kept that sense of originality nowadays in these times we don't see a lot of that we see a lot of people looking on social media for their style when their style should come from outside of social media and you should bring your styles to social media but you know we'll get past that because it's bigger than that the main thing i'm trying to let you guys know is the message that he stood behind fight the power and when you're dealing with a person like spike lee one of my favorite movies of all time i'm pretty sure it's one of your favorites too is do the right thing and the messages they so combine because it kind of like this song has led into that that movie and they and it just that message sticks together in the communities and it rings in people's ears for years and years to come because it stood for something and it's still go and it still tackles what we're going through today with the youth coming up crimes increasing people hurting each other the fight the power is to let everybody when he screamed out brothers and sisters he meant that we are all together what are you doing why are you guys going against each other we are all the same we're not supposed to go against us we're supposed to go against the system so we have to turn that same negativity and that same power that we're using against each other and try to put it towards some place that we can build with each other and that's what fight the power meant so if you want to think about one of the biggest groups of all time it's always going to be a public enemy because fight the power meant so much for the people at that time and it means so much in these times today and i thought about it i said you know what i want to highlight them and i don't want to just get just put anything about them out there i just want to show that their message and the things that they stood on it can help each individual artist in these times so if you're thinking about being an artist of hip-hop don't just think about it for the money think about it for what you're going to go in there and stand for like are you going to bring your culture to it are you going to bring some kind of pen that opens somebody's mind so they can stand on those stages and stand on those um on those mountains and help their people or are you going to just go to the game and just try to suck it dry for what all that it has you see you have to realize that there are artists that stood up for things and there are artists that shape people to be better people in life in society not artists that just have to make you feel like you want to be a rapper no his words rang out in the black communities that show that we're all the same so no matter whatever you do Whatever you, you want to do or you want to dream, it can be, it, you can accomplish it, but you can't accomplish it by hurting your own and hurting people around you because that type of energy is the same energy that you, that's the, the power, the power, man. You have to know how to fight the power. Whatever is coming against you, you have to know how to fight it back with love or some kind of defense where it doesn't hurt you or the people around you. So when it comes to public enemy and hip hop, I count them as one of the best groups of all time and it's not just about giving people their flowers but it's also about carrying on their legacy and the things they stood for if it's valuable today i think people should highlight the values in the music if you guys like what i'm putting down as far as just picking out certain mcs that meant really 
that much to the culture and why they meant that much to the culture give me a like or two and let me let me share the video and i'll um, drop more of these just picking out the different things and i don't want to also forget that spike lee man we need more directors that see our visual and understand our pain. If you keep leaving it in the hands of other writers and other directors, you're never going to get the story that really depicts who you really are. You need more. So look at so many ways you can create and stop trying to create what the next person created and try to create what nobody created. And you'll have a creation that lasts forever. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now.